<laughs> we are getting ready to go to Cologne and we are freezing to death. But we did have a good breakfast this morning at Pension Letty. And uh, well, let's see where we go. In Europe, the easiest way to get around is by the train systems. We bought a flex rail pass, which allows us any four days within a month to travel within the same country. Um, we supplemented this with some extra days because we we're spending so much time in Germany. But it makes it very easy to get from one location to another. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take the train up to Cologne. We made it to Cologne, and we're standing in front of the dome. The dome is Cologne's landmark. The cathedral was meant to be a tangible expression of God's kingdom on earth. It was conceived with such immense dimensions that construction began in 1248, and it wasn't completed until 1880. And that was with the builders adhering to their original plans. It's 515 feet high. The two west towers of the cathedral were by far the tallest structures in the world when they were finished. The cathedral was built to house what are believed to be the relics of the Magi, the three kings who paid homage to the infant Jesus. The trade in holy mementos was big business in the Middle Ages, and it wasn't always scrupulous. The size of the building was a response to the vast numbers of pilgrims who arrived to see the relics. Today, the relics are kept just behind the altar in the original enormous gold and silver reliquary 